Hello again, everybody. Aaron Whitehead here and just excited to be with you. Excited about this next song I'm going to teach you. It was a request by Sarah DeWood. Thank you so much. I get the best requests from you guys. When you send me songs, I go and look them up. And I just go, wow, what great music. So keep the requests coming. This song is The Smile of a Child. It was written by Paul Reeves and featured in the, sh in the uh, series Criminal Minds in the episode Coda. So uh, if you came and found this song because you want to learn it because you are a Criminal Minds fan, would you just comment, put, uh, put that in the comments. I want to know how many folks are finding this video because they're wanting to be able to play the piano like they saw uh, on Criminal Minds. So this song is great because it is really straightforward, uh, very simple, but just beautiful uh, to play. So I'm going to kind of break it down for us and then put the pieces together uh, as best as I can. Okay, so going to start actually with our left hand. So this is middle C right here, and I'm going to position my hand around two chords. They just The two chords just rotate between. Uh, so here's one. I've got my pinky down low on the B, middle finger on the D, ring finger on the, I'm sorry, index finger on the F sharp, and my thumb on the G, okay? And I'm just going to play through these. It's in eighth notes like this. Okay, that's, that, that's the left hand part. It's kind of a rolling pattern. Uh, you're going to want to start real slow until you get it down. Okay, and then the next chord that you'll get to is this one. You're going to drop your pinky down to A, middle finger on C sharp, index finger on F sharp, and my thumb is now up to the A. Okay, and we just literally are going to rotate between these two chords, rolling them just like this. Okay. Those are the only two chords for the whole song. We're just rolling through one to the other. You do each one four times. practicing that with your left hand, get that part down. Now, the right hand uh, has a beautiful melody that's really centered around just a few notes. And uh, there's basically three parts that I'm going to teach you, okay? So the first part goes like this. It starts on B. Now, where we're going to anchor our hand, my thumb is going to be on this B, okay, the B above middle C. My pinky is up here at this B uh, an octave higher. So I'm going to span between these. I'm going to play the D, with just, I'm doing that with my index finger, middle finger on F sharp, ring finger on A, and then the B up here. So those are the five notes that make up uh, this melody line, okay, for, for pretty much the whole song. We do get a C sharp in there, uh, but for the most part, we're going to be right up in here. So we've got a, a, our first section, the first part sounds like this, B, D, high B, A, and then B, D again. Okay, so like this, and then it repeats, and then there's this part where we land on the B, and then drop our pinky to the A right there. Okay, that's the first half of the first part. Let me play the second half of the first part so you can see. It starts the same. But here we go, I bring my thumb up to this C sharp, and then I go to the A. So the first half I went B to A, and then the second half of the first part I did C sharp up to A. Okay, so here's the whole first part. First half, okay, sit on the A, and then starts the same. C sharp, the A, okay? And you notice you hold that A there. Uh, throughout the remainder of that. Okay, I'll put them both together in a little bit, but now let's look at the second uh, part of the melody. Okay, so we saw the first part. Remember I said there's three, so now we're on the second one. Uh, the second one, we actually start up high, okay, come down, and then, okay, so we're going B, A, B, D, B, D, B, A, B, D, B, D, and then we go F sharp, A, Okay, that's the ending of the, uh, of the, so the, again, the second part has two parts. So the first part 
of the second part ends like that, where it goes F sharp A. Okay, but the pattern repeats. Now the second half of the second part is actually even simpler. It starts the same, but here we're just going to jump straight to the A. Okay, so we don't do F sharp A, we just do A. Okay, now the last part is the trickiest one. The third one is the trickiest one because the rhythm is very unique. Okay, it's a little tricky to get if you, but uh, if you don't overcomplicate it, it's actually simpler that if you just think of it in groups of two. Okay, so you go B D, and then B A. Okay, so those are the two groups. It's B D. Okay, so that's the third part, and it's the exact same the first half and the second half when you repeat it. Okay, so I'll do it again. It's B D B A. B, D, B, A, B, D, B, A, and you're going to see when we put the rhythm to it, it does get a little tricky um, because it's, it's not quite what you expect, okay? And then the last part, the very end of the song, is the exact same as the beginning with a slight change, okay? So the ending goes like this, B, D, B, A, B, D, B, D, B, A, B, D, B, B, okay? So... Uh, before we went to the A, we just go B, B, the octave. And then to end the song, we're just going to ring out a little B minor chord up here. Like that. D, F sharp, and B. That'll be the ending. Okay? So you're really just going to do this in your left hand the whole time while you play the melody lines in the right. It's really fast, so when you play it correctly, it's going to go like this. But let's start really slow and build ourselves into it. So like this. Really, that's slow. I'm going about half the tempo I would go when I get it up to full speed. So that's the end of the first section. Now I'm on to the second one, okay? Second, that's the end of the second one. Now the third one. See what I mean about the rhythm? It's kind of strange. And now the ending. And that's the ending right there. So you can see how they all go together, and you just want to slowly build it up until you can get up to speed. Beautiful song.
And you're going to want to play with it, slow it down, use the sustain pedal, really make it sound great. This is a keyboard. It would sound way better if it was on an actual acoustic piano. But hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you again so much for the suggestion, Sarah DeWood. Keep them coming. And, and let me know in the comments uh, if you got to this because you are a fan of Criminal Minds. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time.